Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we're creating an animated mixtape design directly in Procreate. So what you see on screen is exactly what we're going to be creating together. So I'm going to hop into Procreate, create a canvas that is 1500 pixels by 1500 pixels at 300 DPI. All right, I've got my canvas all set and ready to go. The color palette that I'm using is available as a free download right in the video description. So just tap there and you can download this full color palette for free. So the first thing we're going to do is set our background color. Our background color is going to be this color right here. So out of the seven colors, it's the third one to the last. And I'm just going to tap on background color and select it and that will drop it in. And now we're going to create all of our background elements, everything that's going to be static or still throughout the animation. And then we'll add in in all the animated components. This is one of my most advanced animation tutorials to date. So if you're brand new to animation, I'd encourage you to check out my other animation tutorials first, and then you'll be in great shape to complete this one. So the first thing we're going to do is create the base of our cassette. And a really easy way to create this base is to turn on our guide. So we'll come over here to the wrench icon, go to canvas, turn on drawing guide, and hit edit drawing guide. This is pretty light, so let me darken up the color just by dragging this color slider up here and I'm just going to leave it at the default right now and then we can change it later on. So the default 2D grid size is 105 pixels. So I'm just going to hit done and now on layer one I'm going to grab my very first color right here this teal color and I'm just going to draw a rectangle. I know that my center point is this line right here so I'm going to keep that in mind. The brush that I'm using for this is my free mono weight brush. There's a link in the video description. So I'm going to grab my mono weight brush and draw in my rectangle. My brush size is 8% and I'm going to hold it and it'll snap into a rectangle. And then if I wanna edit it at all, all I have to do is hit edit shape and just adjust my nodes if I want any of them adjusted. Now is the time to do it. And now I'm just going to drop color into it. So now I've got my rectangle all filled with color. I don't need the space grid anymore, but I am going to turn it into crosshairs that way I can make sure my design is totally centered before I get too far into it. So I'm going to hit the wrench hit edit drawing guide, and then just toggle my grid size all the way up to the very max. And when you do that, you can see we get the hair lines. So now I can hit done, select my rectangle, and move it so it's perfectly centered. So I'm looking at my side nodes and my top and bottom nodes just to make sure that everything is centered. I usually like keeping my artwork just a little bit above center to give it a nice focal point. All right, so that looks good. And now I'm all set to go with the design so I can turn off my guidelines. So I'm just going to toggle off my drawing guide. All right, we have our base cassette and now we can start adding in all the details. So the first detail I wanna put in is the label that goes on top of the cassette. So I'm going to create a new layer right above. I'm going to label these, I'll label this one base and I'll label this one label. Okay, and for my label, I'm going to grab my mint green color right here. I'm still sticking with my mono weight brush and I'm just going to bring this down and over. You can also turn on your guides again if you'd like to use them for this, but I'm just going to kind of eye it and make this about two thirds the height of my base cassette. So I'm going to hit edit shape and just toggle these so they look a little more even. I want this to feel pretty organic and hand-drawn, so I'm not worried about it being absolutely perfect. If I wanted it to be completely perfect, then I would make sure I was using my guides for the entire piece. So I'm just going to drop that on, and if you want rougher edges, sometimes I'll go in with my brush and I will just draw them again so the edges just look a little wavier, and that makes it look a lot more hand-done too. I just love the look of that. Okay, so this is looking really good. The next thing I wanna do is add the bottom part of the cassette, that little area that juts out a little bit at the very bottom. And I'm just going to create a new layer right up above it. And I'm going to make this one this gold color. And I'm going to make a rectangle first. Okay, fill it with color. I'm going to turn on my guides temporarily just to make sure that this is centered before I edit it. So I just wanna make sure these top and bottom nodes are right along that hairline and now I can turn that off. And the next thing I wanna do is just erase away the corners. Okay, and the last little detail of this element is putting some dots at the very bottom. So I'm using my eraser for this and let me bring this down to like 15%. Okay, and once again, I want this to look really hand done. So if you don't like 
things being imperfect, then just turn on your guides and you can line everything up so it's perfectly symmetrical. Okay, I'm also going to chop the corners off of the label, so I'm going to return to my label layer and just erase these top corners just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to grab my darkest blue color, which is the second color right here, grab my mono weight brush, and on my base layer, I'm just going to drop in some dots up in the corners. So this next part is completely optional. I like adding a little bit of texture to this. So in order to do that, I'm going to create a new layer right above my base layer. I still have my dark blue selected, but now I'm going to go into my default textures category and grab my grunge brush. And this brush size is going to be about 25%. And I'm going to create a clipping mask on this. So just tap on that layer, choose clipping mask. And now whatever I brush on this layer is going to instantly snap into that shape. So I'm just going around the edges of it just to dirty it up a little bit. And if that's too dark for you, all you have to do is reduce the opacity. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit, kind of subtle, but still noticeable. I'm going to do the exact same thing for my label and for this bottom element right here. So Okay, so we almost have this all ready to go. Last couple of things I wanna do is apply texture to the background. So I'm going to create a new layer and then drag it all the way below my base layer, but above my background color layer. And I'm going to select my white or my lightest color right here. Okay, I'm going to reduce the opacity of this just slightly. So let's give our cassette a bit of a shadow just to make it look like it's got a little bit of depth to it. So we're just going to copy our base. So tap on it, choose select, come to the layer that we just created, that grunge layer, creating new layer right above it. And we're going to fill it with this dark color right here. So tap on it and choose fill layer. And now we're just going to apply a Gaussian blur. I'm going to make this about 8%. And then I'm going to select it and just tap it down a little bit. So my light source is coming directly above it. So now it's got a little bit of depth to it. And the last thing we need to do is just add in our details for the main part of the cassette. So this is all going to happen above all of the layers that we've created so far. So create a brand new layer. And on this layer, we're going to create the window that will hold the tape right inside of it. So this color is going to be this medium blue. So it's the very first one. I'm going to grab my mono weight brush once again and draw a rectangle first. And then I'm going to make the edges curved. So you can just draw a curve and hold it and Procreate will snap it into a perfect curve and then you can fill that in. Okay, so that feels a little bit large. So I'm going to reduce the size of it. We're gonna make sure it's centered before we begin this. That way our animation is perfectly centered. And once again, I'm going for that hand-drawn look. So that's why nothing is totally perfect here. All right, I can turn my drawing guide off. All right, let's put a label, let's name this mixtape. So I'm going to create a brand new layer, grab my darkest color right here, and I'm going to grab my mono marker brush from my Font Lovers Procreate brush set. I'll leave a link in the video description for this, and I'm just going to name my, my mixtape. All right, so now it's time to create the window and the actual recording tape within our cassette. So the first thing we need to do is erase away the center part so we will have a window there. So we have to return back to that shape. I'm actually going to drag it all the way to the top and I'm going to grab my mono white brush as my eraser tool. All right, that looks good. So now I can erase away the rest of it. All right, the last thing are the little wheels that spin the actual recording tape. So I'm going to create a new layer above my little window layer and grab my orange color and my mono weight brush once again. So let me return to that. My size is about 4% and I'm going to draw a circle. Let it snap, edit shape, circle, deselect. So for the notches, All right, we're going to duplicate that. So slide it to the left and choose duplicate. And we're going to drag this all the way over and we're going to label these ones. So this one is the right one. So I'm just going to name this right and label this one left. And now we need to cut out windows where these spinners are. So I'm going to grab my eraser tool and just erase away the inside. 
All right, and I need a little bit of blue showing before my window appears. So I cut my window just a little too large. So if you did as well, just return to your window layer, grab your teal color, and then just create some separation. All right, so we've got the base of our mixtape, and now we can begin animating the actual recording tape, as well as these little spinners. So they will spin, and the tape will increase on one side and decrease on the other side. So we need to put in our tape first. So I'm going to create a new layer right below. I'm gonna label this one window. Right below our window layer, and this one's going to be called tape. I'm going to grab my darkest color, grab my mono white brush, reduce the size down to like 2%, and I'm going to draw a bunch of lines on the left side and just a couple of lines on the right side. Okay, so now we're ready to begin animating our tape. So we need to turn on our animation assist. So come over here to your wrench tool, go to canvas and turn on animation assist. We're going to adjust a few of the settings for the animation. So first come to your settings. We want this to be ping pong. So switch that on. Our onion skin opacity is going to come all the way down to 20%. And our frames per second, we're going to start off with about seven. And now the next thing we need to do is group all of our base layers together. So the only layers that we're keeping are going to be part of the animation. So those layers are going to be my tape, my window, and my left and my right spinners. So I'm going to slide these to the right and choose group. And now these ones are all grouped. And now I'm going to group everything else beneath it in its own layer. And down here, you'll see we've got two frames that match up with our two groups. Your background color doesn't count as part of that. So we wanna tell Procreate that this tape on its own is always going to stay there. It's never going to move. So it's going to be part of our background. So just tap on that frame and toggle over background. And now it will stay in place for throughout our entire animation. And now we can just adjust our tape as it moves and as it spins. So we're going to drag this brand new group up here at the very top. We're going to drag it to the left, choose duplicate, toggle this down. And now we're going to start erasing a little bit of tape each time, adding it to the other side and spinning our left and right spinners. And we're just going to keep doing that over and over again until all of our tape is gone. So I'm going to show you what that looks like a couple of times and then I'll speed up the video. So tap on your tape layer, grab your eraser tool. I'm going to reduce this pretty far down to like 5%. And I'm just going to erase just a little bit away from here. And you can see with the onion skin that we can still see beneath it how much we've taken away. So that's really helpful. And now we're going to add to the other side. So I usually add one or two to the other side. And now we need to spin each one of our spinners. So for the left one, select it, grab your arrow tool, make sure your magnetics is turned on. And when you do, it'll snap it. And you're just going to rotate it until it snaps the first time and you're going to do the exact same thing on the right side. So now these are moving in similar increments every single time, and that's really helpful. All right, so that's our first pass, and now we're just going to duplicate this group and do the exact same thing again. So come to your tape layer, erase a little bit from the left side, add it to the right side, come over to your spinners and rotate them until they snap again. And now we're ready to duplicate this again. I'll do this one more time and then I'll speed it up. So toggle it down, erase a little bit of tape from the left side, add it to the right side, spin, spin. Okay, so let's preview our animation down here. If I hit play, you can see it's ping ponging. So it goes forward and then it goes backwards. So it kind of looks like we're a DJ right now. So that's kind of fun. All right, so what I'm going to do is just continue that exact same process over and over again until all of my tape on this side is down to like the last couple of pieces. And then that'll be the end of my animation. So I'll speed up the video and then I'll be back. Okay, so I just finished my last group, so let's zoom out and we can preview what we've got. So we're gonna hit play. And you can see how it ping pongs back and forth, how we advance our tape and then we remove it. 
Okay, so that animation is now complete. In order to export this, just make sure that you're exporting this as an animated MP4. If you're posting this on Instagram, you cannot post an animated GIF to Instagram and it has to be at least three seconds long. So make sure you've got the length and you're exporting it as the correct format and you'll be all set to go with posting it to Instagram. So that's how to create an animated mixtape directly in Procreate. Once again, links to everything mentioned within this tutorial right in the video description, including that free color palette and all the brushes used. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can be notified of new tutorials just like this one in the future. For more design and lettering tutorials and freebies, head on over to my site, every-tuesday.com. You can also find me over on Instagram. My handle is every Tuesday. If you try this out and post it there, I would love it if you tag me. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week.